Well, welcome back everyone and welcome back to Shady Oaks Farm. So today I thought I'd do something a little different. I am going out to check the uh, SD cards on the game cameras and I thought, well, why not take you along and let you see the new trail we built. That uh, the first trail we got completed that goes from one part of the property to the next part of the property. So, um, and then on in between that, um, on this video here, I'll, uh, you know, after I pick up the SD card from each camera, I'll go ahead and show you a few pictures of the wildlife that we catch, capture from those uh, um, the, from those cameras. So the first one's out by my food plot. Um, the food plot didn't do much, as you can probably see when you when I pull up here. But uh, you know, there's a little bit of stuff on there. They they tend to congregate around there and stuff. The wildlife does. Uh, but uh, you know, maybe this year we'll do a little bit better job. We didn't get any rain last year. I planted it, and then for two months we didn't get a drop of rain. So. Um, it didn't help at all for the crop to come up. So we're going to do it all over again this year, probably a little earlier. And if I can't get it, if I don't get any rain, I'll probably irrigate it. So this first one right here on my right, um, I'll stop here, grab the SD card. And, and so here's the wildlife that we captured from this uh, food plot here. Um, several things. I got some nicknames for some of these deer that I see. Um, I don't know if I'll see them in this video. I can't remember if they show up in this video or not, but... Uh, You know, if you see them enough times, we, uh, you can give them a nickname. That one there, I call a unicorn. He just got one antlers, pretty much one side, kind of not even, not even uh, anything coming off of it. It's just one, uh, one horn. I have another one I call half rack, and that's not him right there. The half rack that I call, he's a uh, eight point buck. He's got four on one side and missing the other side. In fact, I. In this video, I found a, uh, a half of a rack, a four point. So I don't know if it was his other half or not, but he all year long, he only had a half a rack. So he must have lost it early. Here's the turkeys. Uh, these are all hens um, in this field. We have about 24 or so uh, hen turkeys that hang around, 24 to 30. They love the food plot. As you can see, the deer love it. Here's a few gobblers we have. There's three, two, three gobblers there. We have about six or seven gobblers that hang around. This is after snow. We see the turkeys almost every day. If not, you know, we see them quite a bit. Some coyotes I got hanging around the property. I think it's time to do a coyote hunt. Maybe that'll be one of my videos, but uh, we got quite a few of them. You can see by this video, they're the videos I've been capturing. There's a couple there hanging around. If you look in the fog, there's a couple back there that are hanging around. And then this fox here, this is, I see this fox all the time, especially at nighttime, but he hangs around the property. He's pretty content, you can tell. So then we're gonna go ahead and uh, gather the SD card for the next camera. Now next camera, I didn't really post any uh, videos from it because it's an older camera, so it just, it just takes pictures. Um, so I didn't post any pictures from it. I just uh, been posting videos on this one here. So this is the dam trail, we call it, um, as you can see, because we're going across the dam. Um, this is the first trail we kind of cut into the property. Uh, it's really just to get from one side of the property to the other without going back behind the outbuilding and the house and stuff on the west side of our property. So this, is, this was pretty easy to cut in because they had already cleared some of this land for the pond. And we just, you know, kind of cleaned it up a little bit, took some, mined a little brush the right way from the trail and stuff, you know, and opened it up a little bit more. But we use it also to get around to go fishing and stuff, so. Kind of winds through the woods a little bit here on the end of it. And now we're coming out into one of the pastures on the south side of the property. And you'll see me take a quick spin here and turn around and what do I find? To my surprise. I think it was old half rack, his other side.
accident I found here, driving out along the trail here, checking cameras. My first shed. That's pretty cool. That was a pretty good find, really. Uh, that's a nice little rack there. I'd love to find the other half of that, but uh, I'll probably use that. I, I, uh, as some of you know, I do have labs. That I don't have one currently now, but we'll probably get one once we get the house done. But I like to train one for shed hunting, so I got my first shed to uh, at least use as a, uh, a little bit of a treat for the dog, you know, and scent for it. So this is the first trail that we built, like I say. Um, you'll see a pink ribbon hanging from the trees on the left side here. Um, that was, we walked the woods, and we walked the woods quite a bit here and there, you know, in different spots, and we marked where we, we wanted to trail that. So this was one of the first ones we marked. We walked with, you know, you just kind of pick out the least path of resistance, and this was one of them. Uh, we still had a lot of brush to cut, a lot of underbrush to cut, which we, we do all by hand. So whether it's chainsaw or a brush cutter, you know, on a on a weed eater or whatever, uh, you know, rakes, you know, anything we can get our hands on, you know, to uh, clear the trails out. So, you know, it took quite a while. That's why you know, I say we got a lot of trails we want to build. There's at least 45 acres of timber. So as you can imagine, <clears throat> we have a lot of room for different trails through the, through the property. And so this is just one of uh, many that we want to build. Plus it helps the wildlife too and creates fire breaks and everything else. So it's a lot of benefits for building trail to your woods not only just enjoy driving through it with the UTV. I don't know if you can tell from this, here's a first camera on my left, or the second camera I should say, right here. This is the one that just takes pictures, um, so I didn't post any pictures for this uh, camera here, but I don't know if you can tell from the property, the topography on this uh, property, there's a lot of hills on it and stuff, especially coming down right here. Um, I got a culvert we need to put in at some point. Um, we want to put in a drainage ditch here. So one of the one of the runoffs, you know, creates a stream here when it uh, when you get a lot of runoff and stuff, and it's kind of cut a, a pretty deep rut through here. So we'd love to put that culvert in there, you know, so I can get the tractor back there with the uh, bush hog on it or the flail mower or something. But right now, I can take the tractor through there with just a bucket on there, but you can't get the tractor past this point um, with a implement on the back of it. It'll just drag. It's so steep right here, the back end will drag. I have it low gear here, just to get up. I don't know, you can't really tell from this video about how steep that is, but it's a pretty good, a pretty good incline. So we're kind of cutting through the middle of the property right here, probably a little bit further south um, of the uh, timber. You know, if you think about it, the timber's in a rectangle, so we're pretty kind of further south of the middle than we are in the middle. I just stopped there to put it in high gear since we're back flattening, flattening out again. I always think this area coming up here would be a cool spot to build a little cabin. It's a nice little clearing. Overlooks a lot of the hills and stuff on the uh, north side of the property. Right around this corner here. It starts to break open on the left side there. It'd be a neat little spot. You know, to, I'd love to clear it out sometime if I ever get the tractor back there. but. At this point, we're probably midway through the back of the uh, timber part of the property. Um, still got quite a ways to go to get the very back, but at some point we hope to get a trail to the back of the property, or and at least around the perimeter of the property. It would be really nice. Now we come out on this trail on the north side, we are at the perimeter of my property line, so it's kind of nice to have that. Again, another hill here. Probably can't tell from the camera angle, maybe from out on the UTV, but nice little incline. This property was logged uh, probably 20 years ago or so, so you know, we still have some mature trees there, but there's a lot of trees that are still, you know, pretty young, you know, if you think about it. It takes a long time for a tree to get pretty big, so. But we do have some nice oaks on here, some nice hickories. A lot of hardwoods on here. And then, of course, a lot of fir trees you'll see. That, to the right there is an opening. That's another potential trail at some point. We cleared a little bit, but it's not very far.
This is probably the easiest part of the property, a trail to clear right here. And then it comes down where it starts getting thicker. But this is pretty open. And all we had to do was really cut back the trees. And I guess they had some logging roads back here one time. So we just had to clear some tree branches, you know, for getting the UTV. But, and then some briars and stuff that were growing up. Now it starts getting down here where it starts getting a little thicker, where we had a lot of cleaning. This is probably one of the, we're getting to one of the worst parts of the property where we had to clean. I'm stopping to get the last uh, SD card on one of my last cameras here. We get a lot of wildlife down in this part of the property too, as you can see. The deer love to follow the trails. You cut a trail and it won't be an hour later or two and they'll be on it. Turkey, same way. Now we're running to the property line. You can see no trespassing signs on the left side there, that is the edge of my property. There's a little bit further to the right, you know, there's still, there's a fence line that runs probably another 20, 30 yards over that uh, my property board is uh, my neighbor's property. Now we're cutting back, back to the south a little bit. This was probably the most thickest part of the property, to, the trail to cover, or to clear, I'm sorry. Putting it low gear here, this is pretty steep hill here, but. We, we took a lot of little trees out, a lot of brush out. It was just, it was pretty gnarly in here. And you can see these little creek beds that run through here when the water gets high or when you get a little runoff, you know. This is in the flatter part of the property. And I call it the bottom land or whatever, the bottom part of it. It's really in a floodplain down in there. I mean, it doesn't flood, you know, the whole timber, but you know, those, that creek bank will spill over and stuff. We found a few mushrooms down in here. Hopefully, you know, we've only been mushroom hunting once, but hopefully in the future here, uh, we'll, we'll find a lot more morels. You can see a lot of stumps cut right in here. I'm going pretty slow, just trying to get through here. There's a few more little trees I need to take out, especially when I turn this corner right here. Now a little creek bed we gotta go across. I need to take that tree out there with the pink ribbon on it and there's one on the right side I also need to take out. And I need to take that one out we're gonna run into, which I didn't, but it needs to be taken out also. A little tight corners down in there. Another creek bed that winds through there. It's the same creek bed that just keeps winding down through. Now this trail here, this is the one I say, this is one of the first ones I cut too on the other side, the north side of the property. Um, I cut a little bit ways in down to that creek bed, you know, but we couldn't, we couldn't connect the two from the upper part of the property to the lower, you know, we had to clean that all out. So this one comes out here. So when I turn on this to the left here, I was able to clear this out pretty much right there with the tractor. So I could take the flail mower down there and the bush hog and just mow all this. And then Pretty much just trimming the limbs that are hanging over, which I can see, you can see on the left there. I still got some more to, to trim out, but you know, basically this little path here was already there. So I just, you know, when I got here on the farm, it was all weeds and stuff, pretty about three or four feet high. So I just took the flail mower or the bush hog, you know, and mowed it all over. So this comes out on our what we call the north uh, east pasture. We have a northwest pasture and a northeast pasture here. So. Uh, this field I did not have cut. Um, they didn't cut it, so I just loved told them to keep it. You know, we hay it, and I just said, if you're not going to hay it, then just leave it like it is. A lot of wildlife in here, so as you can see right there in front of us, we've got some deer running out. Before the winter hits, I always mow a strip through the field just for a, so I'll have a path to 
to go around. And then in the summertime, I'll usually keep it on the edge of the field line so they can grow hay here. Or we can grow the hay and then they can bale it. On the left side, coming up here, we have a little target um, shooting stand set up, you know, so we can practice, you know, but uh, someday we'll get a permanent place. You, know, you can see that right there on the left. We've done a little target shooting there. And then we're coming up on the uh, little farm pond. Uh, this little farm pond was here when we bought the property. It was surrounded by trees and dense brush and stuff and we had it all removed, opened it up. It helped a lot, you know. There's some fish in there, I don't know what kind. I've, I've caught one carp in there. I've heard there's some good catfish in there. I've never fished it really that much since I have the other pond. But the wildlife like it, so. And then we're turning the corner here to the left and in front of us, not that tree on the left, but there's another tree straight in front of us is where that first camera was. So we're back to the full circle there. So that's why I was saying we can finally go into timber and come back around and come back out on the other side of the property before we could ever do that. So, and there's just a shot of the pond. It's still frozen somewhat. Uh, we did not get on the ice this year. Uh, we just never felt it was really thick enough like last year, so. There's a shot from uh, to the house, our new house. Well, thanks again for uh, watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.